So Moshe, um, as been pointed out yesterday, takes a little bit, seemingly takes a bit of a risk. Seems. Um, I'll, you, if you want a proof that, I, that I'm representing God, so then something supernatural will happen, and he uses the phrase, Bria Yivra Hashem, God will create something. Um, unusual here, there's a, and, and so that it's clear that it's not a regular natural death. The earth will do what it does. And indeed, that's what happens. When Moshe finishes saying what he says, the, the earth um, you know, valleyed out, it opened up, Beneath them, Batif Tachar said, Piha, and the mouth and the earth. What a, what a, 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 a very um, descriptive way. The mouth, the earth opened up its mouth, Batif La Otam, that Batim, and it swallowed them up and their houses and their households. That Kol Hadamish, the Korach, the Korachush, everything in Korach's family, um, everyone and all of the possessions. Just as Moshe had said, they all of them when, when right, right fell down into the mouth of the earth that swallowed them when they were still alive. What a horrible you know, you know, picture you have. And then the earth closed up on top of them. That is the supernatural part, right? The fact that there can be a, um, that the earth can open up, that happens with earthquakes. I guess it also happens with earthquakes that, the, that the plates can shift back and forth, right? But this sense is almost like it opened up and then swallowed and then covered over them in a way that doesn't sound like a normal way that an earthquake would happen. And they, and they perished from amongst everybody else. And then the other, and sadly, the other punishment happens as well to the 250 Ketorit bringers who are, who are consumed by fire. The, the, we've talked a few times over about how the sages are very uncomfortable with miracles, with supernatural things that enter into this world and um, this is one of the, the items on the list that the sages say um, were created at twilight on on uh, Friday afternoon just before Shabbos begins meaning to say that God doesn't create miracle things um, once creation has been completed and God created the piha aretz, the mouth of the earth, and readied it for its time. So that's interesting. Um, the pasuk seems to tell us that no, He actually created here. Yivra yivra Hashem. God will create something new, which is this thing. But the way the sages will read this is that that which God had created thousands of years earlier, for the time that a rebellion will happen, um, is prepared now to carry out the act to punish these uh, terrible rebels. Um, and quiet the descent um, and challenge to to uh, to the word of the man of God of Moses. With this, we conclude. Wishing you all a great day.